Let's program and be creative. It's time for MIT App Inventor. In the previous video, we put together our basic game for Animal Escape. We did hits and misses. In this video, we're going to enhance it by adding some sound, we're gonna work on our score, and a bunch of the other things. List animal, list animal, list animal. You can see it goes up. Cut animal, list, 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 list animal, list animal. So that's pretty much a very simple game. But for practice for the create task, we need to learn how to make some procedures. So how about adding some sound? When we hit hot animal. hot the animal, we want to play the sound. Missed animal. When we miss the animal, it's fine. But when I hot animal. hot the animal, I want to actually play the animal sound like you actually are catching him. So we're going to need another list. Let's work on that next to add some more to our game. We'll go add in another variable. I'm going to call it animal, animal sounds. This is also going to be a list of five items. And I'm going to fill these in with text boxes just like we did the other one. Now I want these to match. So alligator.jpg, this should be the alligator sound. So I'm going to click over here. I have alligator.mp3. I'm going to click on it. Download to computer. Again, I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy that sound file and I'm going to paste that in here. Next one is King Cobra. So I'm looking for my Cobra sound. It's going to be an MP3 or a wave sound, depending on which one that you used. Mine is Cobra.mp3. I'm going to click Download to Computer. I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to align it with my Cobra. Hyenas. You can see I have hyena that wave. I'm gonna download to computer. I'm gonna right click and copy that file name. Paste that in. I have elephants. Elephant that wave. Download to computer. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna paste that in here. And then lastly, my tiger. I did an MP3. Download to computer. I'm gonna copy that cancel and paste that inside of here. All right, so how this is gonna work, if I hit the animal, which is inside of here, I want to know the animal that I hit and I'm gonna pick the same thing. So you can see in my list, lists inside of App Inventor start from one, two, three, four, five. So if I hit the alligator, I want to pick the sound from animal sounds. So I want to pick the alligator, the first thing. If I hit the king cobra, I want to pick the second thing and play that. So let's make a procedure, which we will use in your create performance task um, to show you how we can do this. So I'm going to click on procedures. I'm going to pull out a procedure. I'm going to call it hit animal. And what do I want to do? I'm going to add my comment here hit animal in game one I want to find the animal number in the list animal pick of the animal I hit so for example when I hit that hyena I want to look in this list and see that is the third thing once I have that number I can pick from the second list the third thing which is the sound for the hyena so to select the animal sound from the list animal sounds using the number found in step one. Number three, I want to put the animal sound found into the sound effect. And number four, I want to play the sound effect. So if I hit the animal, let's call it hit animal play sound. These are the four steps we're going to do in here. First, I need to actually know which animal you hit. That way I can find the item in the list. And once I find that current animal and that number, I can pick from the second list, put that in the sound effect, 
which we have right here. I should have renamed this S and D animal sound. Animals have escaped. Please help us catch them. And then play that sound. All right. So how are we going to do this? Well, first I need to know which animal I hit. So that is inside of here, touched in each sprite. When I touch that sprite, I know what the picture is because right here, it tells me what that picture is. So I'm gonna to need to use canvas.picture and get that picture. When we hit a sprite here and pass it to our hit animal play sound. So I'm gonna need input. So I'm gonna click on settings. I'm gonna drag in some input and I'm gonna call this animal hit picture and let's code this out before we pass it in. So let's call this inside of hits. I'm gonna go to procedures, hit animal play sound. I'm gonna to come to canvas. I'm gonna to come to image sprite. I wanna get the image sprite picture. And I'm gonna put this at the very top because right when I touch it, I wanna call this procedure. So inside of here, I'm passing this picture but I want to, number one, find the animal number in the list. So I'm going to need a local variable to really know what that number is. So this is something new here. I'm going to click on variables. I'm not going to do a global one. I only really need to know this number inside of this procedure. So I can do one of these, a local variable. I'm going to pull this in. And I'm simply going to call this current animal number. And I want to find the animal hit picture where that is in this list. So I'm gonna go to list and you can see they have a bunch of blocks that we have. I wanna find out the number of what that is. Well, we're looking for this block, index and string. Find the position of the thing in the list. If it's not in the list, it returns zero. So I'm gonna pull this and put this here. And I need to, what is the thing I wanna look for? Well, the animal hit picture. And what is the list I'm looking for? I'm looking for, for my animal picks. So don't get confused by this. Right now, if I hit the hyena, it passes hyena here. It says, find the index, the number of hyena inside of animal picks. So it would come in here, it would say one, two, three. I found hyena, it will return three. So current animal number list is now three. That's what we're doing for step one. Now we want to select part two. It selects the item, the number three over here, which is one, two, three, which is our hyena.wave from that list. So I'm going to go back to list. I'm going to do select item from list. And you can see I need to put that somewhere. I need to actually put it inside of our sound effect. So I'm going to go down, sound effect, animal sound. I'm going to pull in my source, which is step three. I'm gonna put this in there. Now, select an item from the list. I need to give it the list I wanna pull from. I wanna pull from animal sounds. And I need the index. Well, we just found the index here. So that is current animal number and list. This is actually step two and three. I'm just gonna put a comment on this. This is step three. And this is step two. So now we've, hyena came in, this found that hyena was the third thing in this list. This step two says, get me the third thing in this list, which is hyena.wave, and it puts it inside of our animal sound effect. Now, step four is to simply play it. I come to sound effect and I click on play. So now let's test this out. If I hit the animal, I'm passing the picture of the current animal I hit into here. It's finding where it has it in the list, getting that number. It's using that number to get the sound from this list, and then it's playing it. Let's see if it works. Missed animal. So I miss. Let's see. Cut animal. Cut animal. Cut animal. Cut animal. Cut animal. Cut animal. So, you can see it is playing those different sounds. So we got a couple other things. We have score, 
and we have sound. We could make this game a lot more difficult. Let's just say we could, if you hit it 10 times, you win. If you miss four times, you lose. We're gonna cover all that stuff later on in this year. This is just a very simple game that you can play. So we're gonna work on our play button, our sound, and our score, and we will be done with this video and this app. So for our sound, this is just a checkbox. So if it's on, we wanna hear the sound. If it's off, we wanna turn the sound off. Well, if we go back here, first thing we wanna do is when the game first starts, we wanna make sure that it's on. So you can see right here is checked. I'm gonna click on that. Animals have escaped. Please help us catch them. And what I wanna do is when this turns off. Cut animal. Cut animal. Cut animal. I don't wanna hear those sounds. If this is on, we wanna play the sound, or if it's not, we don't. So all we have to do is add a condition. So if I click on control, I wanna say if, I wanna check the text box sound, I'm gonna click on this. I wanna grab if it's checked. If it's checked, I want to play the sound here and do all this stuff. So actually what I could do is put this here. And the only reason I wanna do all this is if the sand box is checked. So I'm gonna pull this and put this up here. So this is saying if the sound is on, do this stuff, which is going to find the animal you hit, it's going to put it in a sound, and it's gonna play it. So right now it's checked. Let's see if this works. Cut animal. Cut animal. Cut animal. Cut animal. So you can see that works. If I turn this off. Cut animal. Cut animal. It's off. Turn it on. Cut animal. Cut animal. So there you go. Really, really simple how to set up this very basic game. We have a couple other things that we can add. For example, what if we want to reset? We haven't done our play button. So when we press play, this should go away. And maybe we wanna have a timer in its place. Maybe you can play for 60 seconds. We also need to reset these. So we will continue that in the final video of Animal Escape.